In this session, I'm going to present some explanations of inequalities in health. By the end of this session, you should be able to compare and contrast the key explanations of inequalities in health, in particular, the materialist explanation, behavior, psychosocial explanation, the life cost approach, the fundamental cause, and the ecological explanations. Health inequalities and its potential mechanisms definitely gained preeminence at both policy and research ad agenda after the publication of the Black Report in 1980, when the social model became clearly more relevant than medical model in public health. Several analyses were conducted linking poverty and social class with different causes of deaths in the UK, such as malignant neoplasms and disease from circulatory, digestive, and res respiratory system. One key aspect was still under debate on the field of social determinants of health is what caused inequalities in health. In other words, why people say from different social classes or, or different socioeconomic position or occupations or living and working in different environmental conditions experience different levels of disease and mortality. As presented in the, in the last unit, when we start to discuss about the cause and determinants of health, inequalities in health have been widened in various countries in different continents during the recent decades, including those with moderate levels of disease. Therefore, understanding what mechanism explain inequalities in health is considered a very important aspect when we think about health and intersectoral actions, as well as national and global policies to tackle health inequalities. In the Black Report, differences in health were measured over the years between social class assessed to occupational status. These differences were basically conducted by comparing rates of mortality among men and women in each of the five occupational classes. Taking the two extremes of occupational class as a point of comparison, it was found for both men and women that the risk of death before retirement was two and a half times as great among unskilled manual workers and their wives as it is in professional men and their wives. A number of approaches have been proposed to explain inequalities in health, though none has provided a whole satisfactory answer. In this model, we are going to discuss the following explanations of inequalities in health. The materialist, the cultural, psychosocial model, life course approach, fundamental cause, and the political economy and social ecology. The first and maybe the most straightforward and deductible explanation for health inequalities is the materialist explanation. Materialist explanation occurs as a result of material deprivation. It argues that economic and social structural factors usually referred in this context as poverty and social or economic deprivation, is responsible for health inequalities. Recently, great emphasis has been placed on the role of unemployment on health inequalities. Material explanation emphasizes the role of external environment. Inequalities in health in this context will come about because disadvantaged social groups are exposed to a more unhealthy environment and have few resources to, to secure the necessities for health. It's well known that unhealthy environment where people live and work affect health. Pollution and lack of sanitation as well as poor housing condition expose people to several diseases. Although the link between social deprivation and infectious disease is clear, 
as a result of lack of sanitation and uh, inadequate water supply, multifactorial and non-communicable disease have been also strongly related to poor social conditions. Social disadvantaged people do uh, more dangerous work and as a, as a result, they are more exposed to accidents and disabilities at work. They usually have poor diet since unhealthy food is cheaper and more available in social deprived areas. Okay, when we think about um, poverty and social deprivation, some concepts must be clear. Um, the absolute poverty and relative poverty is one poverty is one of these um, distinction that we must clarify. The absolute poverty is the number of people living below a certain income threshold or the number of households unable to afford some, certain basic goods and services. It takes a universal perspective and defines poverty in terms of a given level of income or consumption, which is e equally relevant for people wherever, wherever they may be. This is usually done by def defining a poverty line as the lowest amount of money sufficient to purchase the amount of food necessarily for a minimally adequate diet and still have enough uh, left over to buy other essentials. On the other hand, relative poverty is the extent to which the has household's financial resource falls below uh, an average income threshold for the economy is more uh, county-specific as the practice here is to define poverty line in terms of relevance for a specific society. Although real incomes have grown, the gains in income and their wealth have been unevenly distributed across populations. The definition of deprivation is not absolute, but always relative to social and economic groups. For instance, assessment of deprivation and its influence on health usually take into account relative comparisons between occupational classes, as previously described in the Black Report, and between the rich and the poor. Measures of deprivation vary considerably in terms of both the variables used as indicative of deprivation and the level at which they have been constructed. They range from a relatively simple single item asset based measures such as income, car and house ownership to a more complex measures incorporate from 4 to 40 variables. They have been applied at individual, household, and era level. The harm to health comes not only from material deprivation, but also from the social and psychological problems resulting from living the poverty, which will be discussed further on the next explanation's approach to uh, inequalities in health. The importance of unemployment arose from discussions about the 21st century labor market conditions and the recent economic crisis in European countries. The health effects of unemployment have been linked directly to financial problems. However, financial strain, social integration, loneliness are referred as the major mediating factors between unemployment status and health problems in both men and women. There are different ways of measuring deprivation and here are two examples. These differences arise because there is not commonly accepted definition of deprivation and no theoretical framework because to guide the selection of appropriate indicators. As a result, indicators of deprivation are sometimes direct and sometimes indirect measures. They usually take into account 
occupation, for example, unemployment, as well as acquisition of specific assets such as houses and cars. Going to oral health, Locke's review article on social deprivation oral health concluded that social deprivation index are sensitive to variations in oral health and can be used to identify small areas with high levels of need for dental treatment and oral health promotion services. Uh, a study on social inequalities in oral health in Scotland showed a clear gradient between area deprivation and number of sound teeth. On average, people living in the poor areas, poorest area had six sound teeth less than those live in the more affluent area. The cultural and behavioral explanation argues that uh, difference in norms and in values make people from different lower socioeconomic status groups adopt risk behaviors such as smoking, unhealthy diet, lack of physical activity, and underutilization of preventive health care resulting in poor health, as we can see in this next uh, slide. According to this explanation, people from different socioeconomic groups adopt, adopt different behaviors and voluntary lifestyles. It focuses on the individual rather than groups and suggests that unthinking, reckless, or irresponsible behavior or in cultural lifestyle as a determinant of poor health among the poor. This approach is strongly based on the premise that adult beha health behaviors are largely in, inter, an individual phenomena which reflects some process involving free choice. Inequality in health exists because lower income groups or less privileged social class have preference and then adopt health damaging behavior than the advantaged groups. Furthermore, those who occupy lower position in socioeconomic hierarchy have also been shown to be more resistant to changing his risk behavior than those from more advantaged social groups. The behavioral model is, can be regarded as a simplistic explanation because it's too simple to say that individuals from this disadvantaged social group are just making this free choice freely and th therefore responsible for their own health outcomes. It also ignores what is responsible for health damaging behaviors, as there is evidence that health behaviors are not equally distributed among social classes. So what has been argued here is not to put down the significance of behaviors, since they are the proximal cause of several diseases. But the behavioral model is incomplete as ignore the underlying social determinants of health or the distal cause, so-called the cause of the cause. It is an individual risk factor approach and considered a victim blame in nature. So other model, models are needed to understand the inequalities in health. The cultural explanation for health inequalities relies on the possibility that different cultures might be prevalent in some lower income groups or less privileged social classes. Part of the culture of any social group is concerned with the idea and practice about health. Different beliefs, norms, and values means that individ individual members or less advantaged social groups are more prone to engage in on unhealthy behaviors. The whole of norms, values, and ideas shared by a specific cultural group influence individuals 
but perhaps does not capture the whole, the wider picture. Uh, the behavior explanation related to oral health is supported by the following evidence. For example, high sugar consum consumption and low use of fluoride toothpaste predispose uh, the occurrence, occurrence of dental caries. In addition, uh, smoking has been linked to periodontal disease and oral cancer incidence. And tooth cleaning or inadequate tooth cleaning has been associated with uh, periodontal disease. 